experiments that we're going to be doing today are about storytelling. That's what we're interested in studying. Um, so we'll be passing out three different versions of stories. Um, and each of you will start with a different one, or if you start with a blank, you'll get at least two stories later. Everyone tells stories every day. We make sense of things. We know our friends by means of stories. We tell anecdotes. There's gossip going around. But what exactly do we, what do we learn from stories? How do we do this? This is what I'm interested in. I'll go ahead and pass these out. I met Fritz by taking his class, The Science and Culture of Empathy. He was working with this guy, um, writing a paper on what an event is. And he had me read the paper, had me meet this guy, and he's like, hey, do you want to jump on my storytelling research? Those sort of things just started happening, it felt like, the second I got on campus. And they just like kept reaffirming the fact that this is like the right place for me to be. The actual design that we use is one of telephone games. So we give little stories to people, usually just very short things, like two to four sentences. And then we want people to retell them for us many times. I mean, like one time, two times, three times, and so on and so on. I'm particularly interested in the embarrassing stories because um, when you just think about the sort of stories that people tell, I mean, gossip is you know, just very prevalent in all kinds of cultures. So we passed around um, in the circle copies of the embarrassing stories that we'd written and the different levels of those, and then um, some of the ambivalent stories. So it's a story where there's not really a clear winner and they have to decide and write an ending. So we're kind of trying to take this whole field of storytelling and figure out why the stories that are preserved are preserved. So, of course, one could ask oneself, why is it so important that we bring professors and undergraduates together to do joint research? And I would say that's the most natural fit, because professors, they, they know the route, they know the routines, but they, they need fresh ideas too. They need uh, people who think out of the box. The undergraduates are wonderful for that, because they are not kind of constrained by their disciplines yet. Um, for me, it is wonderful to work with Ellie and Sarah and with other students as well because they are setting up things that I wouldn't have thought about. I've been doing research since my freshman year, since I've been on campus alongside my classes, and it's just been a great experience because um, not only do you have the opportunity to learn these things in your classes, but you can even apply the things you're learning to your research if you're researching in your field. So I can take like papers that I've read and actually bring them to this research, carry out an experiment, get interesting information, and then have an opportunity to present it and write about it. We're hoping to have publications by next year.